I'm a thug. I'm a real thug. <laughs> I went back on the pavement and I was like, I'm ready to whoosh. Hey babes, what's poppin'? I'm popping and you're popping because you're back with me, Kia Moketi, right here on my channel for another awesome, awesome video. If you're new to this channel, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, don't worry about a sweetheart. Is that spell? Right there. As you can see from the title of today's video, today I'm doing a story time mukbang um, with some KFC um, and chicken licking right in front of me. So I really hope you guys will enjoy this story and you keep on watching. Anyway, without further ado, let's get straight into this video. <laughs> into the video but before that um, I'm gonna be telling what I have in fr I'm gonna be telling you what I have in front of me today so today I bought myself um, this burger from chicken licking um, it's called a big John I love love this burger anytime that you go to chicken licking and you feel like you want something that is very filling definitely get this definitely try this out I love the big John it's super 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 delicious and then I also have here um, two zinger wings with me from KFC obviously that I bought um, I have four um, chicken looking wings some fries and obviously something to sip on something to drink because it's gonna get spicy <laughs> as always then I have some chicken looking sauce with me this is to die for this is definitely a fave i haven't bought it for my place so you know what it is so yeah that's what i'm having today and yeah let's get into the story and let me tell you how i almost got arrested baby girl baby girl what was you what was you doing what was you doing um, so what basically happened is there used to be this guy that i was dating and this guy him and I, we basically broke up. Um, well, I broke up with him. And then I pursued a relationship with someone else. So, um, when that relationship didn't work out, um, I then went back to this guy. And at the time that I went back to him, um, wanting him back, he was now with someone else. So basically, I couldn't get him back so now the dilemma was i still loved him very very much and i still felt like he's the one you know he's the one i should be with some very clear moments in the story but anyway i just felt like he's the one um he's the one i want to be with he's the one like i, I just felt like everything was connecting you know when you, when you love someone and you're in love and you're very very sure I was very very sure I was just like this is my man what she talking about this is my this is my boo okay okay so hi I went back I tried to get him back and at first he just wasn't budging you know because it was just like no I think you and I should just be friends um because I have a girlfriend and you know i can't do that to her because you know you and i used to be together so um i think we can just be friends but not the kind of friends that we'll be like seeing each other all the time or anything like that no we're just friends that you know just people just that just know each other and that just talk cool so i would assume i wasn't okay with that because like i said i wanted my man back okay so this one time a friend of mine and i went out to groove and as always i knew that i mean he's gonna be there so i definitely made sure that i dress up i look good i smell good you know i was ready so that if he was there you know i just try and talk to him or just sit with him and genuinely because he has a, he had a girlfriend and i wanted him back but he wasn't um into the idea i just felt like me just being with him or being in his presence was enough that's all i wanted at the time okay fine but obviously i wanted it back i wanted him back so anyway 
so we're just there grew you know what's nice nice so he comes with his friends they're sitting there and we go and sit with them and you know it's nice groove is groove it's nice it's nice it's nice so him and i we start off the night not really talking but then as the night went on we we spoke you know and as we were speaking you know i was telling him how i feel telling him that i really do want him back blah 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 you know all the all the jazz sorry so i was telling him that i want him back i think we should be together and all that the baby boy not tell me that he wants me back baby boy told me that he wants me back and he still loves me and i was not like yo <laughs> i got my man back he said what and then i got my man back <laughs> i was so excited i was ready for us to start our relationship afresh i was ecstatic i was just happy i was happy you know and we're just talking and he you know touches me here and there and things went on and the night went on and you know we went and did some adult stuff okay and then after that so he was telling me all these things like you know no he's gonna leave the girl be with me he still loves me he still wants me back maybe we can try again try this relationship thing again and like i said we went and did some adult stuff and after that um you know it was great and whatever but after that niggas just changed on me niggas it was like this guy just flipped the switch and it was like none ain't even happened it was like he didn't even he's not the one who came to me and telling me that he still loves me and he wants me back he'll leave this girl for me what 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 and you know when you're a girl sometimes and the nigga does that like you say you feel special you know so i was feeling special we can special i was feeling very special you know i was feeling like no this guy wants me back i want him and that's on period. We're gonna do this and we're gonna start this relationship. Where? After that, nigga just flipped the switch. I don't know what was going on with him. Actually, let me stop saying nigga. Let me let me give him a name. Pete. Pete just flipped the switch on me. Pete, it was as if he he wasn't even into me like that. Like he after that the whole night he just pretended like we were just friends. I was so hurt, I was so confused. I was that you can imagine how I felt. I was just like like I was just trying to connect the dots of how and why. You know, I was just like, how could he do that to me? And like I'm saying, you you know sometimes with a guy you feel really special, like you feel like he treats you a certain way that he never treats other girls but actually you're just another girl and we don't realize that sometimes after god fear men after god just fear men baby because how does someone just flip a switch like that anyway okay this guy flipped the switch on me mm. that was that um I was hurt, you know. I was hurt because I couldn't understand what was going on. But anyway, the night ended. You know, we went our separate ways, and the few days after, I tried to understand what was going on. So I would talk to him and be like, "Bro, what's going on? This and that." And he was just like, "No, bro. Like, I can't be friends with you at all now. My girlfriend doesn't like that. So you and I need to stop talking." You and I need to stop, um, you know, chilling with each other or talking to each other like that, you know. And I was confused. I was just confused. What I didn't realize was I had just been played by someone that I told myself that I loved and wanted to be in a relationship. I had just been played, baby. I had just been played 
and I was hurt. I was devastated. I was yo. I was hurt. But anyway, I thought no man. Maybe if he sees me, like sees me, sees me, and we talk, and I talk to him, you know, he'll be okay. He'll feel better about whatever, you know. If 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 the girl that he was dating at the time is watching this video, or if anyone watches this video knows her, please tell tell her that I am so sorry and I apologize for being in her relationship like that. At the time, I just wanted my man back, and for me nothing really mattered you know i just wanted him who hurt who gets hurt in the process that is something that i didn't think about i'm really sorry but anyway so guys mm. mm, mm, mm. Big John. Mm. Mm. Anyway. So the next weekend came. I don't remember if it was the next weekend or I think two weeks after that happened. So the next weekend came and what happened was um, we went out with my friends. And then his friends came in. So we saw his friends and we were we were all cool with each other, you know. I think it was just me and him that weren't cool, I don't remember. So we were with his friends, just chilling, just together, you know, dancing together and it was really, really nice. Then he came in and when he came in, I think he only greeted one of us. So we were all just confused that what's popping, what's going on? you know because as he said that like him and i shouldn't be friends i had left all that and i was like you know what it's fine let me let him be let me give him his space it's whatever you know he hurt me in the process um that happened but it's okay you know it's life so after that I decided, you know what, let me just go to him and talk to him and ask him what the problem is, you know. Because I just felt like, so we can't be civil with each other. Like, you can't even come and greet. And I'm right there in front of you. And you can't even say hi. Pardon, or say hi to my friends. Really? Okay, so I went to him. And I tapped him on the shoulder. And the guy turned. And he looked at me. And he looked back. <laughs> After God, fear men. <laughs> fear men. I was like, no. I think that was a mistake. I think he didn't see. I, I, I think he didn't see. I tapped him again on the shoulder. I said, Pete. He looked at me. And he's like, what do you want? You saying that to me? I was like, no, I just wanted to ask so you can't even greet or say hi or something. And he was he just looked at me and he turned back. Ah guys, guys, I was distraught. I was like, he's doing this to me. And I you know tapped him on the shoulder again. I'm like, Pete, I'm asking you a question, I'm talking to you. Sorry, and he just looked at me and he looked back. I'm like, ah, oh. ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was defeated. I was just like, so this is me. This is my life. And then uh, I'm too fly for this. I ain't gonna stand for this. So I just left him standing there. But inside, I was hurt. I was so hurt, guys. I was, yo, especially after what he did to me by leading me on. And then after that, just flip a switch like nothing ever happened between him and I. How? How do you do that? Anyway, hmm, I was so distraught. I was so distraught. And you know, when you're at groove and something bad happens to you, you're just like, you know what? I'm here to have a good time. All this alkali, Revelations 5 verse 10 that is here, I'm just going down it, you know? So I was just like, 
I'm here with my friends and I'm here to have a good time. I'm just gonna. So I kept on. I kept on going. I kept on going. And the more I just consumed some Revelations 5, I got even more angry and I got even more pissed. And I got. I was fuming. I was fuming because I had never felt that used ever in my life. I was just like, what did baby girl do? Baby girl decided, you know what? This guy don't know me real well. And I'm gonna show him who I am. <laughs> hey, guys. Well, that's if I also flipped the switch. I was ready to fight. First of all, I'm not a violent person, but that day, ma'am, I was ready to fight. I was ready to throw my fist in the air with this guy. But I'm gonna go now. I don't wanna embarrass myself like that. I don't wanna be going to a nigga and fighting him when when he clearly has a girlfriend and he wants nothing to do with me, you know. So. I uh, but he owes me an explanation. He owes me that. And if you ever want to talk to me, and I'm gonna do something bad. <laughs> I felt like a Rambo. I was ready. Chicken chat, I was ready to fight. So I remember what happened was. While I'm drinking all those things. And then one finishes, you know? Like a bottle of what I was drinking finishes. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you know me? I'm a thug. I'm a real thug. <laughs> all the thug out of me, all the thug in me came out that day. I was like, this guy doesn't know me. I went on the payment and I was like, bah! I was like, does this guy know me? I'm a thug. I held that um, broken bottle and I was like, this, this guy doesn't know me. This guy doesn't know me, so I'm going to show him who I am. I went back on the pavement and I was like, I'm ready to whoosh. Hey. Guys, I was literally ready to stab this guy. So, my friends didn't even see me break the bottle. So once they see it, they're like, bro, what's going on with you? So they call me Mgani, Mgani, what's going on with you? What's wrong? I'm just like, no, no, this nigga doesn't know me and I'm gonna show who, I'm gonna show him who I am. Guys, I went, so the car was, we were by the car and the car was parked outside. I went, I went back, like, the pavement to go back inside so I can talk to this nigga and I can try and stab him. Because I was so hurt. And I felt so betrayed. When I was about to turn the corner, did he not appear? <laughs> did he not appear? And in that moment, I don't know. But something in me just said, don't do it. And I feel like it was just the voice of God. I was just like, don't do it. I passed him like I don't even know him. I passed him there and then. Holding that broken glass, ready to stab him, I passed him like I don't even know him. And I passed, and as I passed him, I actually um, cut myself on my hand with the glass. So now my friends are talking to me, hey bro, what's going on, what's wrong? And I'm like, no, I was actually ready to, you know, stab this guy. Because I just felt like, how could you do that to me? So after that, yo, I cried, yo, I cried so much. I cried, firstly, because I felt used. Secondly, because I felt like, how could I let myself do something like that and ruin, almost ruin my character and my reputation like that, you know? And one thing that annoyed me was, sometimes, Things that certain people do can push you to that level. And I was at that level for sure. Like I said, I'm not a violent person. 
even arguments. I can't even like I don't even like arguments. I don't like fighting or you know just I don't like that. I genuinely like peace and I always want to make sure that there's peace. So the fact that I went as far as to become violent to someone or myself was just like, girl, you gotta slow down and introspect was the problem. You can't love a guy like that to a point where now you're gonna start losing yourself like that. No. No, no, no. And for me, that's the biggest reason of why I cried. I cried because I was just like, how could you fail yourself like that? How could you do something like that because of a man? We don't do that. We don't do that. Mm -mm. I remember I went home crying. Mm. I cried the whole night. I fell asleep crying, woke up the next day. I had to go to church. I went to church and at church again. I was just crying guys. At church, I didn't, the moment I got in the church building, I just cried. And I didn't stop crying until Bati Ame church is out. I cried. I cried I cried because like I'm saying I felt like I betrayed myself I felt like how could you lose yourself like that I was shocked I was <laughs> I was like it was just an out-of-body experience that I never ever want to experience again and I also cried a lot telling myself that you are never going to do this to yourself again you are never going to lose yourself like that again for a man no don't do that that's not what we do don't do that mm -mm. Mm -mm. never ever do that to yourself yeah mm. Mm. guys it was a lot as i'm saying it was an out of body experience and I'm glad that I left that guy. I'm glad that I also went through the things that I went through, man. Because even if you think like this, if you take the lesson out of it, that's what's important. Like, the hurt won't really matter after. Because now you know um, what that experience taught you. And I think that's why I'm just okay with now. Now, after I cried those two days about that, I was fine. Like, I was just like, that guy ain't never seen me again. He ain't never seen me again. Mm. Like I said, after God, yeah, man. <laughs> man, I don't hurt. <laughs> guys. Mm. Alright, guys. Unfortunately, this is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed the story time and everything that was in the story. And remember, after God, fear men. Because, pff, baby. Baby. <laughs> But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, man, definitely come back to my channel for more videos. I'll see you guys in my next upload. Keep popping. Bye.